Hey there, it is August the 22nd, 2012, and here we are at the August uh, Chinatown Night Market. This is the third night market of uh, this year, and we had three last year as well, too. This is my little side job, something uh, we really enjoy. Uh, we're here at the um, uh, government, sorry, the Star Street side of uh, Chinatown right now, but uh, just want to have a look around. I've got some friends over here that uh, let's have a little chit chat with Stephanie, Chris the roadie. Hello. Hello. How are you? Awesome. So, what are we doing today? Valentine's Day. Awesome. All right. These guys are great. We've got lots of entertainment lined up, but let's uh, walk up the street here. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Have a good all time. All right. All right. So, uh, we've got uh, our Chinatown Lioness right over here. So, this is a little craft table. And, uh, Stage is all set up here. And, uh, we've got a lineup of entertainment. This, of course, uh, this year is the 150th anniversary of Victoria, so it is a significant year as well. Uh, a lot of celebration here locally. And of course, Chinatown itself is a historic location. We celebrated our 150th year back in 2008. It's changed over the years, but uh, come on, let me show you around the uh, People often ask what the backstory is here. Totally. Uh, the fact is, people have talked about doing a Chinatown night market for many, many years. The Victoria Chinese Commerce Association uh, is actually the association that has put this on. And a number of years ago, they actually did a study to see if uh, doing a night market was viable because a lot of people uh, thought that doing something with the Richmond or Vancouver night market would be uh, successful here. One thing that they did discover is that it's a small town. So, as far as sustainability and being able to have a regular daily night market over the summertime probably wouldn't work. Um, but it just has meant that this is an opportunity for the association, the Commerce Association, to put on these regular events. Uh, how it actually happened was I was doing some work with uh, the Mayor of Victoria, Dean Fortin, a couple of years ago, and he just made an offhanded remark about, let's do, you should do a Chinatown night market. And I thought, why not? So it's just a matter of getting the right people together. And uh, we started a little small, but uh, as you can see, we're looking But let's go and have a look and, and chat with a couple of people. Uh, you can see that we've got food here as well, too. Uh, Mama Rosie's been a very popular addition. Makes some great uh, Eastern food. Uh, we've also got a um, Cambodian burger. Maybe we should move a little bit faster so we can catch the rest of them. As you can see, we've got uh, great weather here. One of the other reasons why a night market was something that uh, came up in discussion is because of the fact that uh, the Downtown Victoria Business Association installed these lanterns actually a number of years ago that are, that are just overhead. I'm going to have a look at the lanterns up here. And uh, they're great, of course, because they turn on uh, automatically uh, late at night. And it just makes this place look uh, very festive. And of course, the entire Viscard Street here is um, Entrance to the uh, Chinatown is a harmonious interest, which is fantastic. And it brings a lot of uh, um, uh, history and a lot of culture to us uh, here. Uh, but again, looking at some of the vendors, we've got a little bit of everything. The intent here was to be a kind of market. So, of course, Victoria's got a number of markets. It's got the Sydney Market, it's got uh, um, Moss Street, it's got Kings uh, Lots of great markets. However, Chinatown wanted to be something a little different. So they're looking for uh, things that are cultural and background. Uh, so the selection here is a little different. And uh, the good news is that this year uh, the capacity has been full. So we basically run out of street. Uh, the first year we had uh, you know, between 9 and 16 vendors. Uh, we're now we're close to 40. Uh, so it is space that uh, is becoming kind of hard to find. We have uh, David Adams over here, so he's starting. Uh, I'm sorry, John Adams. Yeah. Uh, and John does a great job of uh, walking tours in, uh, in Victoria. Um, some uh, health uh, items here. Uh, massage. But it's all in the, uh, the backdrop here of uh, historic Chinatown. You know, the restaurants all over the place. The good news is that uh, many of the vendors, uh, no, sorry, many of the stores and many of the restaurants in Chinatown do very well over the, uh, the market nights. Uh, a couple of the restaurants here report running out of food when the, uh, the market time. So we literally get thousands of people come down to, uh, to the Chinatown during the, uh, during the market. And uh, the other thing too is a few of the stores that, uh, that are here full time, of course, they set up shop on the sidewalks here and they uh, promote all of the goods in their, their items, so they do very well as well.
So the actually, I, I guess the whole idea to have in the Chinatown Night Market is it brings people down to this area here, which otherwise would not be busy. You know, we all know that Wednesday nights or weeknights, for that matter, aren't necessarily a very busy time here, even during the summertime. This just brings people down here, gives them a reason to come by here in the field, the cultural background of, of Chinatown. Uh, it is just uh, such a great spot. We do hope that it ends up being something that is a regular marketplace, something that people can come down to uh, on a regular basis because you know, something else too is that there's a lot of stores and there's a lot of restaurants of uh, Asian culture that aren't down in Chinatown. So you don't need to come to Chinatown to actually get a taste of these things. Whereas, why not come down here and enjoy a uh, free little festival? It's a family, a family fair as well. And uh, we hope that uh, it continues on year after year. My name is Tony Joe, and uh, I'll see you around.